Okay, Lee uh, Lee W. Who um, had the sports question? Lee W. Also asks. I'm 42 and I've had one ovary removed. My hormones are in the trash. My doc has recommended starting progesterone 100 milligrams and we bumped up the estrogen gel to 0.5 milligrams. My hot flashes during the day have improved, but I'm sleeping terribly. I wake up between 2 to 3 a.m. every night. Sometimes I still sweat at night. Should I consider increasing either hormone? What, what, what was the route of, of uh, progesterone? Was it topical or oral? Progesterone 100. Uh, oh, oral. Geez, I'm uh, sure it's oral. Yeah, that's okay. usually starting. Okay. So, um, well, the good thing is we just answered that entire question about sleep. So take <laughs> everything that we said and apply that. Um, but on top of it, it often means um, uh, you may actually need more progesterone. Uh, like I was saying in the very beginning of this, that progesterone actually turns into that neurosteroid, um, allopregnanolone, which can cross the blood-brain barrier and bind itself to GABA and affect sleep. Um, it's very calming, you know, obviously relaxing. It's, it's GABA. So oftentimes 100 milligrams. Now, here's the, here's the kicker too. It depends what your 100 milligram oral <coughs> Cap, bless you, capsule is. Um, so Prometrium, which is the prescription uh, medication, if you read the package insert, Prometrium actually says in there that has, it has about a 10%, 10 to 20% absorption rate, which means of the 100 milligrams, um, depending on how well your microbiome and everything, your stomach acid is, you're looking at 10 to 20 milligrams of progesterone out of that prometrium. There's a lot of binder and filler in prometrium. There's peanut oil in prometrium. And so um, it can it can get in the way. So I do, I have found in over the years of practice that if you have prescription prometrium, you may need to go higher. You may need to do the, the 200 milligram dose. Um, you can also have it compounded though. Um, and then that way they don't have all the extra binders and the crazy grip binders and fillers. And the peanut oil, they take all that out and they just put you know, it's called oral micronized progesterone, OMP. And then you can, you can then compound it to any dose you want. So you could do 150, you know, milligrams, 125, 175, 200, whatever. But usually it's the progesterone that has um, the bigger effect on sleep as compared to estrogen, although estrogen is important. Um, but I usually start with progesterone before I raise the estrogen and usually find good results. All right. Thanks, Karen. Now, obviously, Thanks. there's other things that affect sleep too, right? Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, no, but sorry. you know, if you're like, if your norepinephrine's going up at night, if you're got, if you have blood sugar issues, if your cortisol is going up at night, and, and norepinephrine's a big trigger for um, hot flashes for, for, for women, especially night sweats. It's a, it's, it's one of its, um, it's one of its symptoms. Women think it's hot flashes, night sweats from hormones, and really, it's from norepinephrine. So getting stress under control, you know, winding down at night, those things. Would, if you're on any kind of adrenal support, nourishing adrenal as opposed to stimulating adrenal can be really helpful also. Lee adds, yes, I'm on Prometrium. Also, I'm one of those folks who's working out hard, practicing time-restricted eating and lowered <laughs> carbs. I'll let him fall asleep. <laughs> yeah, so just rewind it about 10 minutes and watch, <laughs> right. watch from there. <laughs> yeah. 